Today is the day. We are going to one of the biggest racetracks in Norway today. And I'm really excited about this. So we got my daily right here, pulling my BMW E36 drift car. Today will be a five hour drive. And we are currently at a gas station waiting for a group of people which we are going with. And they are going with actually a bus and a E36 drift car. And I'm also traveling with my brother to this meet. So that'll be nice to get some help and get some good company on this trip. It's a three, three day trip. So it's Wednesday today and we, it's actually driving today. So that's why we're going super early. It's now seven o'clock and uh, I hope I'll get some good driving in today. And then it's driving uh, on Thursday and then Friday as well. And we're leaving Friday night. And uh, it's actually driving on Saturday as well, but I have to leave on Friday because I need to go home to my daughter's first birthday, actually. It's been a year already, it's crazy. I'm really excited to see how my, let's say 300-ish horsepower uh, BMW will handle a big track. Maybe I need to have a ton of uh, air pressure in the tires, hopefully my sub engine will handle the big track and not overheat and behave let's just hope it does i'm pretty proud about this but we have actually in total 22 tires in this rig right now we got 15 tires in the car and including these on the side and we have seven tires in the back here and i could fit maybe 10 but i need some room for uh, like baggage and stuff like that. So. I've been wanting to go for this track for ever since I saw they build the track. I was super excited to go there. So it will be fun to actually, for the first time, experience a brand new track. I think it's one year old or two years old now. I don't even know. For now, let's wait for the others in the bus and the drift car and then hit the road. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. And now, let's go. Okay, first pit stop to buy some food. And we got the bus here as well, which is pulling another E36 turbo. So that's pretty cool. We are here at the track and we have all the tents rigged up with the bus behind, so that's pretty cool. And my car actually did not pass through tech, uh, so that kind of sucked, but it was only a minor issue, it was just only the driving lights in the back that didn't work so we fixed that with some new bulbs and stuff and uh, like took some sandpaper on the connectors and stuff like that so now it works so we are deep in the mountains here in southern Norway and it's beautiful weather and now we are ready to go out on track and test out the E36 for the first time on a big track I mean look at what I got behind me here that's a cool rig it's so nice Also, take a look at this E36 coupe with a 2JC big turbo. This is making like 600 horsepower, 650 or something. Super cool.
gonna try some brand new tires that I got for free from a friend of mine. Thanks, Terminator. Hopefully these will last longer because the other sets just lasted like one lap. <laughs> that was kind of lame. I mean, this is so much fun. The car is actually quite surprising. It's, I feel like it could have more power because it would be nice to handle fourth gear in the really long turns, but it can handle third gear and most of the turns are third gear. So it's good, having a good time. The only thing I don't like is that it's, I feel like it's kind of, um, when I'm drifting really wide, I can't hold it as long as I want at, or I just spin when I'm going super wide and I want to try to go like backwards entry and then pull in again but I can't so now I'm going to fill up some more air in the front tires and hopefully that will be better because now we don't have same mistakes in the front anymore because we want less grip in the front so I'll slide more in the front so let's try that out two full laps and then the tires were gone and these tires were uh, brand new but they were like 10 years old but brand new but I guess it's so much heat that it wears fast well good thing I have a lot of tires I'm super happy with that run that was so good I linked all of the corners I think in lap two uh, except for the fourth gear turn I had to go in uh, out of the turn and then go in again to because I think I simply don't have enough power and I see that powerful cars also tend to not do a perfect line right there because the track is it, the, the, the the turn is too wide not too wide but it's too like sleek or long it's too long this track is unbelievable i don't know if you can pick up the scenery on camera but it just looks amazing with the hills and with the mountains in the background 
it's sick. This is by far the best track I've ever driven. This, not that I've driven so many tracks, but it's insane. Good to have a brother on the team to help me be a mechanic. It's fun! Mechanic! Mechanic! <laughs> this little good car, it's so nice. We're enjoying this, it's a good time. I'm so surprised by how much fun you can have in like low horsepower car, it's fun. That guy has to 650 horsepower, but he's back in the pits at the same time as I am, and he buys brand new tires. I don't. I'm happy on this level. I don't want to be... I don't want to use any more money <laughs> on this sport. But yeah, oh, I mean, look at the vibe. The tents... It's a vibe for sure, it's a vibe. Serpentine belt. Serpentine belt. Yeah. Serpentine. Belt? Serpentine. 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 Yeah, yeah, what he said almost <laughs> fell off. <laughs> as you can see right there. Very dramatic. Yes. So now we have to take a wrench somewhere in, in there. There. So we have to loosen the tensioner, which is down there. And when he, when he does that. What's so about the coolant level? But the it's low. Yeah. <laughs> It's not cool at all. So, I can do it again. I can do it I think that's good. That's on again. That's the yearly overhauling. Oh yeah. yeah, it's fixed. What a good car. Good thing he actually saw that. Right? <laughs> Having like a quick inspection on the car, perhaps a good idea. I should do that too. I should pay attention to that more often this weekend. And the coolant level is low, but it's supposed to be low. If it's higher, it's, it's going to blow out of here. So, yeah, I know my car. It's, that's how it's supposed to be. I know my girlfriend. Oh I yeah. Know my car. It's a good car. And no transmission breakdowns. That's very nice. Yet. Yet. 